Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. I, I, I think just, you know, the Tory establishment and a lot of the media, and of course, not, not to mention the NDP, just have really no idea what people are thinking here. They're here. I felt like the, like a free man in the first for the yeah. first time in a long time yeah. yesterday. Yeah. I just felt like I am I'm a free man, free to live my life as I see fit and choose. And there's not much uh, more Alberta thing to do than to say, screw the government, I can live my life as I like. So an illegal rodeo in defiance of uh, government orders Sounded pretty good to us. Sheila Gunn Reed for Rebel News, and I'm here at the Bowdoin protest rodeo, the No More Lockdowns rodeo, hosted by Ty Northcott. Now, I ran into one of the sponsors of the event, uh, Derek Fildebrandt, with the Western Standard. And uh, take a look at our quick conversation we had before the anthem started here at the rodeo. Derek Fildenbrandt, boss man with the Western Standard. You guys are sponsoring the rodeo today. How does it feel to be sponsoring an illegal event? Better than a legal one. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it was real exciting. Uh, Corey Morgan actually kind of put this together. He got in early touch with Ty as soon as we heard this was happening. Uh, you know, there's not much more summer activity than, uh, than rodeo. And there's not much uh, more Alberta thing to do than to say, screw the government, I can live my life as I like. So an illegal rodeo in defiance of uh, government orders sounded pretty good to us. So uh, we came to an arrangement with uh, Ty Norcott and uh, his rodeo here just south of Bowdoin. And uh, we're proud to be here. Uh, I don't even have to pay my employees overtime. We're just here for fun. <laughs> Yeah, I know. This is one of those, like, I can't believe this is my job kind of days. Yeah. Uh, um, I, now, you said this morning, we were talking off camera, that the police did come again this morning. We, I was there when they came yesterday. Yeah. They were here again this morning. Yeah, it was actually during Cowboy Church. Um, oh, during church. It was during... Ah. You know, <laughs> actually, the only thing more Albertan than an illegal rodeo is an illegal church at the illegal rodeo in Alberta. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, Pastor Coates was not doing the service, but uh, it was still a very nice service nonetheless. So during the service, uh, it, well, it was it was kind of raining, it was actually very cold, was, yeah. but everyone's out there having uh, Sunday worship. And um, then I spotted out of the corner of my eye, uh, way down to that way, um, peace officer come onto the property. I, uh, I kind of told a couple of guys to go find uh, Ty Norcott, the property owner and organizer today, but I went up, uh, stopped the car and asked him to produce uh, a warrant uh, he said there was no warrant uh, but it was because it was not a um, they were not here for AHS they were not here on health orders to shut it down he's here to execute a search warrant that's pretty typically uh, Sunday morning rodeo problems yeah <laughs> yes I mean like last night was um, the rodeo was great but uh, the evening after the rodeo was particularly special and um, so apparently they were here to find a warrant for someone. Uh, Ty Norcott came up, asked them to, pr to produce the, the actual warrant and the name. Uh, the peace officer just drove around the property for about five minutes. Didn't actually go where any of the cowboys are, which at least I think we suspect is what they were looking for. But they just drove around, I think just kind of showed the flag. I don't they act, think they were actually really looking for anyone. Showed the flag, drove off and left. Everything was fine, but... Uh, they're definitely watching what's happening here, but I think they know it would be probably a bad idea to attempt to break it up. Now, speaking of breaking it up, uh, the UCP would probably really love to break this up. Um, I'm sure on Monday morning we're going to hear condemnation from Jason Kenney and hand-wringing from health officials. But the thing is, this is deep conservative country. This is Jason Kenney's reliable base, and I bet you on Monday or Tuesday he's going to renounce everybody here. Well... You know, I think this certainly used to be his base. Uh, yeah. I'd say a, a year ago, he'd, uh, well, two years ago, he'd be worshipped here. A year ago, a lot of people were not maybe that happy. They, there was already some cracks in the armor. Uh, but yesterday, he was roundly booed, and people cheered when uh, one of the speakers called for his resignation as leader and UCP leader of the UCP and as premier. The place cheered. I, I have a hard time imagining that even six months ago. Yeah. Uh, so something is... I know uh, Ryan Jesperson on his high horse was uh, saying, uh, these are disgusting people, we're killing people, there's blood of people on our hands for being here, and the, the, this is Jason Kenney's Alberta. And I thought, you know, how disconnected from reality do you need to be to believe that this is a Jason Kenney event when uh, people here cheered for his resignation? 
So, uh, I, I think just, you know, the Tory establishment and a lot of the media, and of course, not to mention the NDP, just have really no idea what people are thinking here. They're here. I felt like the, like a free man in the first for the first time in a long time yesterday. I just felt like I am I'm a free man, free to live my life as I see fit and choose. And that's what that's what people are here. And it, it's just fun. Of course, there's going to be political uh, not undertones, but overtones here. It's it's got a sure it's purpose. a protest rodeo. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean it's 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 a rodeo with uh, with a purpose. But I mean, Ty Norcott comes from a legendary ranching rodeo family. Yep. Uh, the stock is expensive to keep up. You don't use it, yep. you lose it. It's yep. a depreciating asset. It's very expensive to maintain. If you're in that business and you're not doing rodeo season, um, think of it as a Calgary bar with no stampede. Yep. I mean, you just need to do it. The town, uh, people in the town of Bowdoin have been extremely welcoming and supportive of this. The town had, the town and the local egg society had to back down because the province threatened them with pulling their funding. Yep. Uh, this is a lesson to media that neither of us work for, that if you rely on government funding, they get to, you know, he, he who pays the piper calls a tune. Same goes for local municipal government, same goes for media. But, uh, I mean, there's just a fantastic reception. Lots of kids, it's a family yes. event, yeah. and it's not a super spreader event. I mean, if you look over there, uh, people are sitting with their families, they're outside, uh, like outdoor contagion of COVID is extraordinarily unlikely. Yeah. Uh, so unless everyone's kissing each other here, I think we're going to be okay. I don't know what went on last night. I went home before it got into that. <laughs> well, Derek, they're about to start the rodeo. I want to thank you for your participation in this um, and being part of making it happen. Oh, we did a very small part. It was all it was all tied, but uh, we're real happy to be here. Glad glad you guys are here. Uh, at least neither of our outlets have to report like CTE from a ditch out there. Wearing a mask in the ditch. That's how you know they work for the mainstream media. <laughs> well, that's how you know they work for the government now. That's right. That's right. Thanks, Derek. Thank you. Doing normal things in Alberta is suddenly an act of protest. Now, if you've gotten a ticket for doing a normal thing like meeting with your family, gathering in groups of 10 or more outdoor, just going about your life, all those things that the lockdown has made illegal, reach out to us at fightthefines.com. Plead not guilty. Send us your ticket. Tell us your story. And if we think your story has merit, we'll put you in touch with a top criminal lawyer at no cost to you. Again, that website is fightthefines.com.